I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. It's fine. I'm taking care of it. Just stay there. 
Wow, Cam, you seem really steamed up. <laughs> oh, it seems like he's really going off the rails. <laughs> You're not helping. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a train engineer thing. Y y you wouldn't understand. Oh yeah? Try me. I bet I can track right with you. Really? You're gonna have to stop at the train jokes. Okay, I'm listening. Well, but one more. I'm all engine ears. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Fine, well, so two people usually drive a steam engine. The engineer okay. and the fireman. A fireman? Like with a big red truck and a Dalmatian? No, not like that. Like a fireman on a train engine is the person who shovels the coal and throws it into the fire to make all the steam. Oh, okay. I'm tracking so far. Anyway, we got a new fireman on my crew and he is driving me crazy. He never ever stops talking. All it ever is is, hey Cam, how you doing? I'm doing well. Hey, what's your favorite color? Mine's purple. Hey, you seem really old. How old are you? Oh, you're so old. Were you there when the train was invented? Hey, you want to hear a train joke? What do you call a train that's carrying bubble gum? A choo-choo train. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, why aren't you laughing, Cam? You don't like me, Cam. I don't think you like me. <gasps> well, that's okay. I'm gonna make you like me. You wanna hear another train joke? Why was the train so good at his job? Because he's in training. <laughs> Shh. Cam, it doesn't sound like you're being very nice to this person. It kind of sounds like you're making fun of them. You just don't understand what it's like to be constantly interrupted when you're trying to work. Oh. I think I have a pretty good idea of what that's like. Cam, being loving to others is so important. And if you're having a hard time being a good friend, you can ask Jesus for help. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Yeah, but what if someone just won't stop talking? Jesus' power helps us be good friends. You should talk to Jesus. Pray to him and ask him for patience and for the eyes to see this new crew member the way Jesus sees him. Maybe this guy's lonely. Maybe he needs someone to talk to. You never know what someone's going through. And sometimes the people who annoy us the most are the ones who need our friendship the most. Yeah, you're right. I guess I'll have some time on this long haul on our next journey to practice being a good friend. I'm going to need the power of Jesus. <laughs> would, would you mind praying with me be before I go? Uh, of course I will. We'll, we'll wrap up here and then we can pray together before you go on your trip. And who knows, maybe Jesus put this guy on your crew so that you can show him Jesus' love like no one else. Me? A job only I can do? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, I I'm going to finish putting the supplies together for our next trip and, and then I'll come right
When I came by today, I found out someone had decorated our set for a party. But I don't know why. I don't even know if I'm invited to the party or if you're invited either. But as long as we're all here, we might as well join in. This area looks really fun and festive. Not sure about your house though. What about this? Take two minutes and use whatever you've got to decorate that room you're in. Scarves can become streamers, draped over chairs, aluminum foil can make shiny decorations, and cereal boxes can represent gift boxes. Use those imaginations and go! That's better. Today we're discovering how Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Since we're all good friends, let's play a quick game. Have one person watching with you stand in a doorway. You'll try to get past that person and they'll try to stop you. You've got one minute to play, 30 seconds for each person to try and block the door. Ready? Go! Now, talk about these questions with the person you played with.
Yeah, I felt left out too. I found out a friend of mine was having a party at her house and I wasn't even invited. Today, we're learning that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Jesus' first followers, the first Christians, had sort of an inner circle, but they didn't try to keep anyone out. They invited everyone in. After Jesus died and came back to life, he went back to heaven. His followers and friends told as many people as they could about Jesus. You heard a little about that with Peter and John's adventure. And then those people told people, and those people told people, well, you get the picture. Pretty soon, lots of people believed in Jesus. Here's what it says in the Bible about those believers. Open your Bible to Acts 2. It says, all the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper and to prayer. So they're eating together, praising Jesus together, hanging out together, and sharing with each other. Jesus' power made those believers good friends, and they wanted everyone else to join them and become friends of Jesus too. You know, this is a celebration. And the best celebrations have gifts. I've got some gift boxes here that have clues in them. Clues about what we've learned this week about Jesus' power. See if you can figure out which story it's pointing to and what that story told us about Jesus' power. All right, let's see here. Hmm, which Bible story was this? Ah, my friend Ananias wore this when he was trying to hide. Ananias helped us remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Ha! Sea biscuits. Oh yeah, I ate these on the ship with Paul. That was pretty scary. And it felt a little hopeless there for a while. But Paul's confidence in Jesus reminded us that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Some change. Do we have a Bible story about somebody who needed money? Oh yeah, the man who couldn't walk. He had to sit and ask for money until Peter and John boldly healed him in Jesus' name. He definitely learned that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Oh, I'll never forget this. Jesus loved us so much that he died to pay for the wrong things that separate us from God. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Jesus wants to be friends with everyone, and Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. So maybe all this is a friendship party. We're here and Jesus is here too. We've got decorations and most parties have music. We have music too. And all good parties have fun and friendship. Let's take care of that. Take a minute and grab a sheet of paper and a pencil. If you've got markers or crayons, those would be okay too.
Now that you've got your supplies, it's time to make something fun for a friend. Think of someone in your family or a friend you'll see soon. Make a card telling that person or showing what you love about them. You might say they're a good listener or you appreciate how they make you laugh. I'll give you about five minutes to make your card. I'll be making one too.
Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. You know, when we give our hearts to our friend Jesus, we get a lot of other friends too. We get each other. Jesus said that when we treat each other as friends, that shows other people who don't know him yet that he's real. Let's close our time together by celebrating Jesus' power, singing our theme song. Everyone, on your feet. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh.
Welcome to Imagination Station. I really can't believe it's our last day together. I've had so much fun making discoveries with you this week. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! But before we dig into that, I get to ask you one last time. Did you bring your imagination today? Since it's our last day at Rocky Railway, we need tons of imagination. I was talking to my friend Lawrence Elk, and he told me something amazing. Did you know that an elk can weigh as much as 730 pounds? I said, Lawrence, how do you power up to carry all that weight up a mountain? And he told me he eats 20 pounds of vegetation every single day. Do you have any vegetation where you're at? In a moment, I'm going to have you run to the nearest vegetation and touch it and then run back. It could be a houseplant or a flower or even a bag of carrots. Hurry and come right back. Now that we have our imagination sprouting, let's find out today's question. How many toes do elk have on each leg? Do they have two toes or four toes? Think about your answer. Ready? Okay, time for the drum roll so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is elk have four toes on each leg. Imagine that! It's our last day at Imagination Station, and today we're going to make power bands! Yay! Steam trains get their power from either wood or coal. So you can use wood beads, or coal beads on your power band, or you can use both. But we get our power from Jesus. Every day at Rocky Railway, we discovered something new about Jesus's amazing power. So you'll add one cross to your power band to help you remember Jesus's power in your life. I'll walk you through the simple steps. As you work, Remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Before you start, you'll need to find some tape and some kid-friendly scissors. And you may need a family member to lend a hand. In your kit, you'll have 10 beads. Some will be coal beads. Some will be wood beads. And you'll have one cross bead and an elastic band. The first step to making your power band is to tie a knot on one end of the string. Just like that. You're gonna put the band down and grab your tape. Tape the band down either to a table or the floor. This is gonna make it easier for you to string the beads. Next, thread your choice of beads onto the string, making sure to include at least one cross bead. You can do any pattern that you want.
Now remove the tape and work with a partner to tie the strings around your wrist and knot it so it fits just right. I had a grown up help me cut the ends off my band so now it looks nice and neat. Every time you wear your power band, you can remember that Jesus has amazing power and he uses that power to help us. And since we know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends, trust Jesus! You can be a good friend by giving a power band to a friend. That way, your friend can remember Jesus' power too. Every time you wear your power band, you can remember that Jesus has amazing power and he uses that power to help us. And since we know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends, trust Jesus. You can be a good friend by praying for someone every time you look at your bracelet. Well, believe it or not, we've come to the end of our time at Imagination Station. If you need a place to keep your power band, and put it inside of a baggie. And if you have the Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's point. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us at Imagination Station here at Rocky Railway VBS, where we've learned that Jesus' power pulls us through. Trust Jesus.